introduce the using method of 0.1 Hz ultra low frequency generator and take the 80 kW one as an example. Firstly, let us introduce the five parts of the instrument. It consists of control box, booster 1, booster 2, compensation capacitor, and the varying bike. Now let us introduce the details of our part. First, the control box. When you open it, you will see a special introduction on the cover. Please read the exact content carefully when you use the instrument. The control box consists of control output 1, output 2, the screen, the printer, the earthen rod, 2 to all power out light, and switch button. Now it turns the introduction of booster 1. It is made up of the earthen rod, control output 1, and high voltage output 1. For the booster 2, it comprises high voltage input 2, high voltage output 2, control output 2, and the earthen rod. If the testing voltage is less than or equal to 30 kV, you can use booster 1 alone, or booster 1 and booster 2 being serious. For compensation capacitor, we should read the introduction carefully in the ones. Finally, it is a varying bike accessories. It includes the connected high voltage LAN between two boosters, 30 kW output LAN, 80 kW output LAN, the multipod capacitor high voltage LAN, the power LAN, the ground wire, 25 power fuses, two rows of printing paper, 140 discharge rod, and two control cables. Please note that the cable with green plug is used in booster 2. Well, another one with black plug is used in booster 1. Don't connect wrongly. First of all, introducing the procedure of connection. The cable in my left hand stands for an external ground wire. Firstly, connect it and the ground wire in varying bike by clip. And then, put the first prong connect the earthing rod in the control box. Put the second one connect the earthing rod in booster 1. Put the last one connect the earthing rod in booster 2. Finally, connecting the clip in the other side with the low voltage or compensation capacitor. The second procedure is connecting control cable. Connecting the control cable with black side between control output 1 in booster 1 and the 1 in control box. And then connecting the control cable with green side between control output 2 in booster 2 and control output 2 in control box. Please note that don't connect wrongly. The third step is about the high voltage connecting LAN. There are labels on it. Connecting high voltage output 1 with high voltage output 1 in booster 1. And then connecting high voltage input 2 with high voltage input 2 in booster 2. Screw it up. Next, we will introduce the connecting method or high voltage output LAN. First, connecting one side or 80 kW LAN with high voltage output 2 or booster 2. Screw it up and put the other side on high voltage or compensation capacitor. Please note that 
put high voltage line far away from the booster. Let the power line connect with 220 voltage power outlet. Take out the detach rod when we start to use it. Insert the earthing rod into the conductive detach jack. And then connect the other side with external ground wire. Please note that if the voltage is less than 30, we can use booster 1 alone and no need to use the booster 2. When you use the booster 1 alone, connect 30 kV LAN with the high voltage output of booster 1. And connect the clip in the other side with a high voltage or compensation capacitor. Please note that put high voltage line far away from the booster and then the control cable with black side connects to control output one in booster one with the one in control box. When you turn on the power switch, the first line in the screen is booster number side. There are two options, one or one plus two. If the testing voltage is less than or equal to 30, using the booster 1 alone, we set 1. Or two boosters are in series, we set 1 plus 2. If the testing voltage is more than 30, two boosters can only be in series, so we set 1 plus 2. We take 10 kV as an example. We can set 1 and then press the escape button. The second lane is testing frequency setting. There are three options for frequency. 0.1 Hz, 0.05 Hz, and 0.2 Hz. Now we set 0.1 Hz. The third line is testing voltage setting. We take 10 kV cable as an example. We need to set 17 kV. The next two lines are limit voltage and current setting. They can be set automatically. The next line is time setting. We can choose time like one minute. The last one is setting types of voltage. When you choose the confirm button, you will see the pressure rise slowly and the waveform appears gradually. There will be a numerical value approach 70 kV showing the screen. When you see voltage adjusted by pressing up and down button, please press up and loosen the button one second later. The voltage adjusted automatically. When it shows 70 kV already, we can press the confirm to start the time. After the boosting finished, the screen shows it's discharging now, don't power off. All it do is after the discharge is manually by using the discharging rod. Meanwhile, the printer will print out the measuring results. It means the discharge rod has a high voltage size or compensation capacitor. Then, discharging by resistor and earthen ports successfully. Power off when the screen shows zero.